Oh, it's been a long time, I know. So, uh, how's everybody been doing? <laughs> oh, that dogs. Anyway, I'm going to do a little update. You see, I've, I've got a container here. Look at this big old fig. I just picked it. But these are uh, gherkin cucumbers. That's the first time I've planted them. Uh, I've got some, uh, I don't know, some type of long oriental cucumber here and some radishes. And it's been raining and raining and raining. And this one here, I've got uh, kind of a mixture. I got uh, some lettuce coming up. It may get too hot for it. Uh, some more radishes and a little bit of spinach. Just kind of a, a green mix. Oh, well, we'll do a quick tour of the, the greenhouses. Uh, my second one down there, it's been flooded twice. We've had uh, seven inches of rain uh, since last week. Uh, three inches of rain day before yesterday and then four inches uh, last week. But, uh, green beans, they're, uh, they're a little yellowed. Uh, ain't much I can do about it with all this rain. Uh, I'll try to uh, give them a little bit of nutrients uh, once it kind of dries up a little bit but right now it's just going to get washed out and uh, we're getting some blooms finally <laughs> not much uh, going on I've got a couple more cucumbers here got some deal coming up uh, in this container and these are rat tail radishes now when these uh these make a little seed pod uh, you can uh, eat those and they have a, a mild radish flavor we'll uh we'll go into this greenhouse it's fairly dry except for the uh <laughs> the silt uh, this greenhouse just sits so low Oh, okay. You can see <laughs> where the water was. Uh, at least it drains now <laughs> before it just puddled. But the uh, tomatoes are, are covered with blooms. We've got some, some tomatoes set already and uh, a big cabbage. Uh, these bottom leaves here are, are huge, but uh, you know, even this one is huge. And that's a uh, my hand stretched out. Oh, a little bit of Swiss chard. But, uh, supposed to get another round of water <laughs> tonight sometime. These are some carrots. I probably need to pull some of them. And uh, the broccoli. <laughs> need to pull that up. A few more carrots coming up. These are uh, the American flag leeks. Uh, they're they're fixing to uh, seed. Uh, a few strawberries. Uh, the onions. Uh, the onions. They're uh, they're bulbing up, or the short day varieties are. They're not probably going to get as as big as I've had in the past uh, out in the my regular garden. Uh, I've got a few tomatoes coming up here. Uh, I wasn't sure how many tomatoes I wanted to plant and some of my pepper seeds uh, didn't germinate so uh, I put some tomato seeds in here. They'll be uh, late. <laughs> but, uh, tomatoes, uh, they look pretty good. Like I said, there's lots of blooms on these. Oh, it's windy, windy, windy. Ah, uh, see, uh, it's still wet. Uh, if it dries up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plow me a furrow through here and out that side where it'll, it'll divert the water. 
But uh, it's just too wet right now. I'll be uh, I'll be making some big ruts that I don't want. Uh, my some of these plants uh, I planted twice, but uh, with the, the amount of rain we've been getting. But the okra, the okra came up good. I've got a good stand of grass and uh, okra. I need to, to get in here and weed. But my pea patch, pea patch, I'm disappointed in it. Uh, the okra came up, but the peas didn't. Uh, it's real skippy. Uh, got three rows of the uh, zipper cream and two rows of the pink eye purple hole. Uh, like I say they're spotty. I've replanted these twice and I still I don't know if I'm just getting bad seeds from from companies or what because uh, as cool as it's been in that ground temperature and uh, the okra germinating as good as it did these peas should have germinated just like the the okra uh, corn the corn the corn Looks like I've got some some insects uh, working it over, some worms. But can't really put any BT on it because it just keeps raining. My broccolis, I've been uh, harvesting broccolis for a while. The cauliflower with the temperature swings we had, most of it just wants, wanted to bolt. Got a couple of small heads. Uh, nothing to write home about. But uh, the cabbages, uh, they're, they're, they're finally growing, but as you can see, the cabbage worms are, are working them over. They're, some of the heads are fairly uh, solid, but a lot of them are, are loose heads. My potatoes, oh, my potatoes, they're blooming like crazy. Uh, it's, it's not gonna be long, uh, and it'll be time to, to dig these up when they start dying down. It's wet. I don't. Oh, I hate. Uh, I hate this. All this moisture uh, with these potatoes. I, I healed them up uh, real good right before that that freeze a couple of months ago, <laughs> whatever it was. Some of the tops uh, did get burnt down, but uh, there was enough covered up that they uh, they weren't really. Uh, stunted uh, like i thought they might be they they snapped right back up and uh took off so uh with the amount of blooms i'm seeing through here these are the huckleberry gold that uh, knock on wood <laughs> or whatever uh, are supposed to be low glycemic <laughs> and these are the red pontiacs so uh gonna be a lot of potatoes if they don't rot and that's about it for the gardening I may have turned the radio off in there oh I got some uh, sweet potato slips uh, started uh, there we go we got uh, tomatoes I've picked three tomatoes uh, so far, uh, a yellow tomato and a red tomato, well two red tomatoes and a green tomato that, that got knocked off. But uh, they're blooming, setting fruit. Let me get around here and set this radio volume off before I get uh, hit with a, a copyright. Uh, here's the, uh, the quail. Probably can't see them good uh, from this side. These are the Caternix quail. Uh, I ordered uh, some eggs <laughs> just to uh, to get a another blood uh, line. They're, they're they're faster than they look at this age. They're actually faster than the grown ones. But, uh, they're almost feathered out. Yeah, I got a brooder in. Uh, in the greenhouse I just uh, it was just made made it easier for me uh, I've got some chicken eggs uh, hatching right now that I'll put in the, the second brooder 
anyway here's the tomatoes there's another another one turning down there and i've got figs uh coming on on these here there's there's actually quite a few started on on these in here these they just freeze back on me every year uh, outside i plant them in the ground they, they freeze to the ground and of course they come back but i don't get any figs figs on here they just take up a lot of space and uh, I've got plans <laughs> if things would ever start going right oh I've got a I've got a roof leak <laughs> yay it's around the chimney uh, I put a radiator in this vehicle <laughs> this one and I'm waiting on a water pump uh, for that vehicle anyway that's <laughs> that's an update and trying to keep everything mowed in between rains I'd put new belts on uh, on the lawn mowers I tell you the drive belt on those little riding lawn mowers I just pull the deck off and stand that, that lawn mowers up in the air I didn't do that but if I ever have to do it again that's what I'm going to do oh I was so sore from rolling around on the ground trying to look up inside of that frame so here's a this is what happens when when you I've got multiple uh, growths coming from the from the stump uh, same with this over here and, and I don't care how much you mulch these <laughs> they're gonna freeze from the top down uh, the uh, the muscadines got bit back uh, right <clears throat> when that arctic freeze came through uh, they're a little slow coming back but I do see lots of little little fruit uh, coming on so uh, maybe we'll get some uh, muscadines a dog was chewing on something let's see what that was so I hope everybody's doing uh, doing well I know uh, a lot of people have uh, had a lot worse uh, problems than I do so, uh, I'll get off here and see what my dog's got.